What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash CubCamTV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts Requested. Today, we're getting into a tune that came out about six or seven months ago, I believe. Uh, the sounds of Joe Boy. This one goes by the name Focus. Slightly shorter tune, but obviously we've been really enjoying what Joe Boy has been doing here on the channel recently. So we're going to get into this one, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy it. As always, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. Just getting involved in as many ways as you can and of course if you have any requests please make sure you are leaving them in the comment section down below i do read every single comment that goes onto the channel the more requests that go up the more videos that go up it's that simple so uh without further ado let's jump right into this one for a bit of a technical analysis musical breakdown um and reactionary stuff let's go very wide on the simps focus Send me at a dry focus. Can I you just got that my thinking or I know they know what's up? So I'm already sure that I am likely to miss a couple of things with the music video, because if we're starting off at a funeral, I may well miss some context. So if I do, I do apologize. Um, however, the actual tune itself sounds very, very nice. I'm loving the very kind of scatty, uh, jittering guitar tones of this one right from the off. Those very kind of like kind of um kind of kind of guitar tones. I don't know if I'm pretty sure it's an electric guitar kind of just strutting away. Uh, sounds really, really cool though. Um, so far, the general kind of spaciness of the atmospherics and the synths above sound great as well. Joe Boy's vocal sounds good. I'm interested to see where it goes, especially with the video. I'm going to try and keep my eyes on what's going on. I'm really liking the um, the call and respond between Joe Boy's vocal and the kind of fluttering woodwind in the background. I'm pretty sure it's a flute, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, just kind of going like... Really, really nice back and forth. Again, it adds a bit of journeyship to the tune. It gives the whole thing a sense of kind of direction and purpose. It gives it a bit more of a kind of widened texture as well, both panned slightly to the left and right. Uh, the general drums are really nice as well. The instrumentation is very clean. The bass lines are very subtle, but definitely doing its job. It's a solid performance so far. It's nice. That bass sounds really weird. I think weird might be the wrong word, but it's definitely different, man. It's a very kind of uh, synthetic kind of pop sound. Very, very cool. That kind of dong, 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 dong. Very moody in the way it kind of uh, comes across. Again, straight off uh, an 808 synthesizer by the sounds of things. Really, really clean, uh, but very nice just in general, man. The vibe of this one's very nice. I'm a little bit lost by the video. It started off at the funeral, and now we're at what looks like a, a kind of party setting. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit confused as to where we're going. But it's looking clean. The video looks good. The vocal performance is solid as well. I feel Joe Boy is just kind of coasting a little bit on this one. Uh, it's not like his most explosive vocal performance, but he's doing what is needed to make the tune pop, which is the most important thing. Not going too OTT just because you want to get a bigger, uh, more explosive vocal on there isn't always the right way. You're driving me crazy. I'm feeling so dizzy. You like it, but you be crying. I'm loving the rhythm on this as well. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm focusing a lot on the instrumental on this one purely because I don't think Joe Boy's vocal is that incredible, if I'm being entirely honest. It's solid, but it's not like mind-blowingly good. As I said, he's doing just enough to make the tune work. The rhythm on this is kind of cool because you've got those sort of three out of four, um, four by four kicks. So you're kind of going boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Obviously, you haven't got the full 4-4 four, four going on, but it gives it this kind of marching, kind of stomping rhythm, and then obviously you couple that with the the kind of plucked guitar lines going through the middle, which is obviously very... It's hectic, but also very stripped back at the same time, so rhythmically, it's giving off quite a quite an interesting impression. It's cool, though. It's very different. Ah, I see what's going on. You don't need to do the phone. I do only need to let me know. You are the one you want. 
Okay, so I'm taking a, a slight presumption here and I'm saying the video is basically about him being quite a promising guy and it then sort of going out of control. That's what I'm assuming it's going to be. I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of drunk driving scenario um, just because he was drinking at the wheel and I think then that's going to cut back to the funeral at the end. I think that's what's going on with the video. Do let me know if I've got it wrong in the comments down below. I always miss things in the videos. I do apologize. I'm trying to focus on the Sonics. But again, uh, starting to hear a bit more harmonization over this hook. It's a bit wider uh, vocally. We're hearing a bit more sort of depth and distance from Joe Boy. Um, coming a bit more alive as the tune goes on, which is what I kind of suspected would happen. Um, but again, sounding good, sounding solid. It's Again, it's not the most mind-blowing tune, but it's definitely one that I can understand why it was uh, as popular as it has been. You don't need to do and you only need to let me know. You know what you want, 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 like preset keyboards you know when you're in school you used to have like the music classes and you'd have like the preset keyboard sounds and there'd be like five or six like weird drum sounds at the end it sounds like one of those that's been kind of extended and kind of pushed together um it just gives the whole thing a bit more of an electronic feel as well um on top of that as well the uh the, the bass line is very very subtle as i said earlier that like, it doesn't seem to be doing much it's just kind of pushing the whole thing forward the most interesting thing about this is the call and respond that we're getting on the hook between those sort of flute lines and uh joy boy's vocal which works really, really nicely. Again, there we go. A bit more kind of movement on the bass at this point. Getting a bit of a glide going on on the um, on the on the bass line below um, over this little midsection here. Again, when you take the drums out of it, you kind of need something to drive it forward. So we're getting a bit more of a, an inch, an understanding of what the bass line is doing throughout the tune. It is kind of just going like just the. A little bit of a glide going on. Again, quite cool. Um, very stripped back uh, production-wise, this one. Again, it's quite a short tune. Um, so it kind of feels, not a tad rushed, but it feels like you get to the point a little bit quicker than we should do, I suppose. Um, and I suppose now we're going to get the... Uh... Oh, okay, yeah. And then we get to this point. Okay, I see it. Now... I don't think the tune's based around a true story or anything like that by the looks of things. Like, it's pretty much just, uh, like, a, a pretty much of a story basically telling you to keep focused rather than, I suppose, letting yourself fly off the handle a little bit. I suppose that's, that's kind of what the, the point of the tune is. Do let me know in the, in the chat down below if I've missed anything in the nuance or anything like that. But in general, sonically, this one's cool. I think it's a solid um, addition from Joe Boy. Again, definitely not my uh, favourite tune from him, but by far um, and away not the worst tune either. Generally like the direction. I like that kind of call and response we got from the um, from from the kind of flute lines and Joy Boy's vocal, and then on top of that as well, I did quite like the the addition of that kind of moogie kind of percussion sound, which played a big part over the top of the bass line as well, and the sweeping bass line itself, very very clean. Um, solid piece of work out to Joe Boy each and every time, doing bits as always. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this technical analysis reaction and breakdown, please do let us know in the uh, comments down below, and of course leave a subscription on the channel. We're very close to hitting 15,000 subs. If we can do that today, that would be absolutely awesome. We're only a couple away so we could definitely do that with your help so please do get involved as always if you have any requests for the channel please do get them in via the comment section down below i do read every single comment that comes onto the channel the more requests the more videos it's that simple and of course remember you can now follow the official um playlist for the channel for cub reacts in particular the fresh afrobeat flavor uh, playlist is now available on spotify so go and give it a follow i'm going to be updating that every few days whenever there's a new release there'll be new music in there it's that simple so do keep it locked my friends that's it from me um this has been cub cam tv this is cub reacts and we'll see you all next time. Peace. Cobalt sun, them sun is so good right now. But the sun in a bright and cold. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cobcam TV. Stay locked.